While the cannabis industry's struggles are materializing in the form of layoffs for BC-based Tilray, one of the largest cannabis producers. For more on the move, we're joined now by Business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton. Good morning, Tyler. So some are calling these layoffs a sign of the times. Yeah, it's really tough to hear, especially as that we know that Tilray has about 1,500 workers globally, and they're looking to cut the, down their workforce by about 10%. So that means about 150 people will be losing their jobs quite soon. And this is a cost-cutting measure. The company had just recently posted a $35 million loss in its most recent earnings report. That was higher than expected. And this trend has been going on throughout the industry, as you said. We've had seen about a half a dozen CEOs in cannabis lose their jobs in the past few months. And we also know that Sundial Growers in Alberta, they just announced 10% layoffs as well for their own workforce. So I suspect more growing pains ahead for the cannabis industry. Yeah, certainly a difficult time. And going from a struggling sector to a company's surging stock, Tesla shares continue to zoom ahead. How much have they jumped? Well, I'm baffled by a lot of these jumps that we're seeing. Uh, since the start of the year, we're looking at more than 100% growth. And just in the last two days alone, we are looking at about 36% growth for Tesla shares at this point. Look, they're coming off some positive news, especially since October. And they had just announced last month that it will begin delivering its Model 3 vehicles from its Shanghai factory quite soon. But I think there's a little bit of a hype factor here. Just look at this morning. We had Canaccord. They just downgraded its position on Tesla over concerns about the coronavirus and what that's going to do for the Chinese market as well as production. So keep an eye on Tesla. I, I wouldn't necessarily buy into the hype just yet. Okay, good words of caution there. That is Business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton joining us this morning. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, you